Um, what up? It's been a while since I recorded a workout video, so today I decided I'm gonna just record what I'm doing. So I got this chest expander thing, okay? And just by looking at it, you wouldn't think it costs that much, but I think it costs like $350, dude. And you can put six springs onto it overall. No, seven springs overall. And uh, yeah, dude, it's a good workout. But the last time I um, went hard with this, it um, fucked my right shoulder up. Yeah, I was doing seven springs like that. And, you know, it wasn't the craziest, best form in the entire world. And I was kind of jerking it when I was doing it to get, uh, you know, power, momentum to, you know, do it all the way. And my right shoulder, like, popped out of place and it hurt wicked bad. I wouldn't say dislocated, but it, I, like, felt the it hurt wicked bad. It, it gave out. So, yeah, I was afraid of doing it for such a long time after that. So, I picked it up about a month ago. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to record this workout real quick, okay? So, yeah. Bitch. Okay. All right, so you guys probably noticed that I go kind of fast when I do those ones. Um, I know that I should probably go a little slower and focus on, uh, you know, warming it up a little better because you don't want to get used to jerking shit around. It's when you fuck shit up, you know. But I don't know. I don't know. The reason why I started doing this, that kind of exercise, is because so this left shoulder, dude, I'm all fucked up. I'm like, I'm all fucked up, but. Yeah, my left shoulder, when I bench, it um, hurts kind of bad, dude, you know? And it really sucks because I started the road to 315 bench, right? And I'm on like week 15 or 16, and dude, for two weeks in a row now, I haven't posted anything because <clears throat> honestly, I can't even do that much anymore. I think the most I've ever gotten was 260, 265 or something for a couple reps. I think that was like the last video I did. I posted on my YouTube, uh, yeah, YouTube shorts. Yeah, um, it was like that much. And the last time I tried it, though, no, like, uh, -uh. it wasn't having it. My uh, dude, when I like warm up, bro, with 135, it hurts. Yeah, it's uh, that's a really real thing, and it kind of sucks. But what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> I mean. I got BPC-157, but <clears throat> since I take a Suboxone, I am afraid that something's going to mess with me, even though I've done a lot of experimental things, like drugs-wise. Um, I'm not on steroids. I'll let you all know whenever I decide to go on steroids, but currently, no, dude, I'm not. Trust me, I'd look a lot better if I was, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you whenever I do. Um, but anyway, yeah, my shoulder hurts, and I do warm-ups great before I bench and shit, but it still hurts, you know, so, the most optimal thing probably would be to, uh, you know, lay off the bench for a couple weeks, hopefully it'll heal, but I don't know, the person I go with, he's got a bench too, you know, and I don't want to hold him back, so, I'm going to spot him, he spots me kind of thing, and then, uh, yeah, so now we're just benching every week, twice a week, and, um, Shoulder still hurts. I do want to do BPC-157 because I have some, and I could definitely do it, you know, but I'm afraid. Because some people were saying that when you take BPC-157, you're not as sensitive to caffeine, or it completely negates caffeine. You don't feel it at all, and I take caffeine every single day. I drink one bang a day. It's like right before I go to work, or no, right when I get to work, I drink a bang, which is uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine, so I don't know. 
I kind of feel that. And I'm afraid that if I take BPC-157, it will fuck with my the dopamine, dopaminergic system that my Suboxone also kind of fucks with, most likely. And, uh, yeah, I looked on Reddit to see if there was any answers and shit, but not really. There's, there's one guy that said, um, yeah, I take pills here and there, and I still felt the effects. And then another guy was like, um, it cut the effects in half but honestly i don't feel high when i take suboxone or anything but i'm just worried about getting sick i don't want to get sick you know what i mean that'd be pretty shitty but yeah i don't know we'll see what happens i'm gonna continue to try and warm myself up strengthen my rotator cuff my labrum or whatever is messed up with me it's basically all right so if i go like this it hurts right here like like right there yeah so while i'm going like this like right there man it sucks but all right Yeah, bitch. Oh, God. Oh God. Um, all right, that's uh, enough for me warming up and now I'm gonna start doing my uh, pull aparts like this. Some people say you're supposed to keep your arms straight and then go like this. So it works your back and posture the uh, deltoids out more, but I kind of go like this. And yeah, that might be cheating a little bit, but yeah, I'm telling you, you still feel the gains. You still feel the burn pretty fucking bad, you know? So, I don't know. And I like to ego lift a lot because I'm a, I'm a problem child like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to load this bitch up with some springs and, uh, yeah. All right, this is uh, five springs. We're going to see how good my form is on this, all right? Yeah, okay. Um, all right, six springs. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do one more set of 
six springs, like eight to ten reps probably, and then honestly, dude, it might be kind of dumb, but I want to try seven springs again because I haven't tried it since the last time I fucked up my right shoulder and it was like two months ago or something like two, three maybe, dude, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's, I fucked it up because, I'm pretty sure I messed it up because I like went crazy, like I torqued it, you know, I didn't torque it, I fucking jerked that shit and uh, yeah, I was like, <clears throat> so yeah. I'm gonna go slow with it after I do this rep, I mean set, and then um, yeah, we'll see if I can do it again. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, you guys see me hit myself in the face with one of those springs mid-set, bro? Yeah, yeah, but, all right. I'm gonna, dude, I'm nervous, though, but. Um, I'm gonna try it, dude. Oh, my God, if, dude, if I fuck myself up, I'm gonna be fucking pissed, bro. And then. I don't know, dude. I have to try it, okay? I'm gonna go wicked slow when I try it. I just did six springs for 12. I think it was 12. Um, yeah. So, I, dude, I can do it for one rep. That'd be cool. And, I already said it seven times, but I'm gonna go slow, all right? So, yeah. Um, all right, moment of truth. I got seven springs on this bitch. Um, when I first got this, I, dude, there was no chance I was getting it. There was no chance, but, um, we're gonna find out today if I can do it, all right? And hopefully I don't fuck my shoulder up, but yeah. All right, here goes nothing, okay? All right. <sighs> fuck. Right. Um. <laughs> yo, I I did it, dude. I fucking did it. I maxed it out. Um. When I say max it out, I mean you know, there's seven spots where you can put the springs, but hold on. There we go. But it also came with two. Oh, two of these springs, but it doesn't have the thingies. So you could probably hook. It'd be like a double. You know what I'm trying to say? Two springs on one of these thingies. So, technically you could get nine, but they would probably get all tangled up. I'm pretty sure they would anyway, but yeah. I can't believe I did it four times, bro. And I have it on video. Obviously, the form was not great. I did not keep my arms locked at all, but um, you know, sometimes your ego just talks to you and it's like, hey, Andrew, remember how you fucked your shoulder up doing Seven springs, um, you should try it again. And I did it, and now it's good, you know? But you see how slow I went? Sorry, dude, I gotta fucking figure something out with this because, yeah, I gotta bend over when I talk, I guess, to uh, get myself in the shot. But, um, yeah, I gotta get, like, a couple things to make my videos better. I mean, they're not horrible, Actually, honestly, they're actually pretty horrible. I have a $1,000 camera. Well, it's like $900. This is a $900 camera. And you wouldn't really know it because I don't fuck with the lighting. I don't get the lighting right. I don't really do good editing. I uh, The only editing I do is just like cuts. Like I cut out shit. I think I did a J cut like one or two times, bro. And it's not even that hard to do. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking dumb with it. But um, 
yeah, I can't believe I got that on video now. Hopefully I'm recording. Yeah, I am. Um, but, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to clip all this shit together and maybe just post it and see what happens. You know, if it doesn't get any views, dude, oh well. You know, but, yeah. So I just looked at the video of me doing the pull-aparts. And I noticed that my form really wasn't that great. I didn't, like, there was still a little bit that I could have pulled when I was doing the seven springs. But sometimes it'd be like that, you know. Um, I believe I'll probably do another one of these chest expander videos in the future. I want to get 12 decent reps of seven springs. And then once I get 12 reps of decent spring, I'm going to try and put another spring on one of the thingies that I was talking about. Yeah. And then, yeah, see how many I can get with that. But, um, yeah, shout out to Alex Leonidas because he's the one who got me on to trying this thing out. Because he made a video about an old school chest workout. And um, I was like, you know what, dude? I got the money. If you got it like that, just, you know, try it out. You know, what's the worst that can happen? If you don't like it, whatever. But, yeah, it's only $200. I said in the video it was $350. I don't know where I got the information from. But, you know, you just spend $200, dude. And then you'll always have it. And, um, yeah, dude, if you don't fucking use it, you don't use it. But... I personally like using it, and there's so many more exercises you can do with it, but I'm not that creative with it yet. Yeah, I kind of did seven springs for four reps. The fifth one I tried to get, but you saw that it didn't. It said no, but um, I saw Alex made another video of like 30 down dips. He just made that like a day or two ago, and um, that seems kind of hard to do. Like, what is 30 down dips? What does that even mean? Well, you do 30 dips regular body weight dips and then you wait like 30 seconds to a minute and then you do 29 wait a minute do 28 wait a minute do 27 and then you go all the way down to one dude that sounds wicked wicked hard dude honestly because you're after 30 reps and you have a minute to rest that's it and then you have to do 29 and then you just, bro maybe i'll try doing uh 20 down dips or 20 dips down i think that's probably how you say it and um yeah i'll try that in the future maybe i'll do it maybe i won't be able to do it i won't know until i try you know what i mean but um yeah um hopefully within like a week or two i'll have another video because i'd like to start making more fucking videos because holy shit i'm very undisciplined with this shit but um yeah i hope you enjoy that little baby workout and um i'll see you in the next one all right